today we are going to talk on iceberg of disease the analogy of iceberg is used to describe the disease pattern in the community or in the population so what is iceberg iceberg is a large piece of freshwater ice that has broken off glacier or an ice self and is floating freely in open or we can say in salt water the study of iceberg phenomenon of disease tells of the progression of a disease from its subclinical stages to apparent disease stage the tip of the iceberg represents what the clinician sees and the submerged is the part explored and made visible by the epidemiologist that is the submerged part tells latent in apparent pre symptomatic and undiagnosed cases that is the large hidden part of the iceberg is what constitute the mass of unrecognized disease in populations and determines the fate of any disease and control program diseases like hypertension diabetes mellitus anemia malnutrition and mental illness so this is clinical cases and this is the line of demarcation so we can say that this is the demarcation of apparent and in apparent disease so what are the uses of iceberg of disease for detection of subclinical and in apparent cases treatment of in apparent cases control of diseases with more number of subclinical cases and to have a detailed knowledge regarding natural history of disease so these are the uses of iceberg of disease now there are some diseases which does not follow the iceberg phenomenon diseases which does not follow iceberg phenomenon are measles rabies rubella and tetanus we can remember it as mera ruth mera ruth m e measles r a rabies r u rubella and t for tetanus thank you